Hello, this is a um, follow-up video to the previous video I made, which is use your Android phone from Linux using screen copy to mirror your display over Wi-Fi or USB. Uh, the reason for this video is that I've uh, made uh, quite a few enhancements to the script code that's used to um, connect the, the phone to your um, uh, Linux system over Wi-Fi. Um, uh, specifically, I was starting running into issues where um, if I had used the phone on a different system, I'd come back to the original system. It, it wouldn't actually, I'd have to plug it into the USB drive to again um, get that Wi-Fi connection. Now, as long as I stayed in that system, um, I would be able to um, just go directly to the Wi-Fi without the USB cable. Um, but when I, I have a lot of systems on my computer and, and switching between systems I was getting some issues popping up where um, I would have to replug in the USB cable. So I've enhanced the code um, to address those issues. Uh, the other issue I was running into is I upgraded um, my uh, motherboard and processor. I upgraded to a Ryzen 9 7950X and it seems as though that with the thread handling wasn't working perfect on this processor and some of the commands were executing in the script code before the previous commands had completed. So um, I've actually added a lot of wait commands into the code. Um, but with all those changes, the code is actually working much better. So the code uh, that we're on now is version 1.4.1. Uh, and to get to that code, and I'll put a link in the description below, but it's um, at github.com forward slash c84t forward slash uh, SCRCPY Wi-Fi. Um, and in the readme file, I go through all of the instructions for um, installing and using this script code. Um, but it's very simple, so I'll go ahead and run through it real fast with you. Um, so the first thing that we'll do is, let me um, get my home folder over here. So we'll create a script file. First of all, we'll create a folder for scripts. I'll just call this scripts. And then in scripts, we'll create a new document, empty document, and we'll call this SCRCPY Wi-Fi .sh. It doesn't matter what you call it, actually. Um, go to Properties, Permissions, Allow executing file as a program. Uh, then let's open this up. Uh, display. Now let's go to the scripty Wi Fi code. Copy all of this code all the way to the bottom. Let's see. Copy. Paste. Now the important part here is this first line. Um, bit the bin bash um, indicator needs to be at the very top line of the script code with no spaces before that first um, hash mark. Um, if you have any spaces there or if it's not on the first line, uh, the script may not work. Um, but let's go ahead and save this. Uh, we can go ahead and close that now. I'll move this out of the way. Um, now, as previously noted in the other video, uh, USB debugging must be enabled on your Android device. Um, different devices have different ways of, of enabling it. Um, I would just search the internet, find um, how to enable USB debugging on your Android device, and go ahead and, and, and do that. Um, on my phone, there's also an option to disable timeout. I would go ahead and select that option if your phone has that option also. Um, so let's go back to the um, instructions. So um, we have our script code. So now let's go ahead and install the, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and install the, um, the applications that we need. Um, those are ADB, Screen Copy, and Zenity. Now, I noticed recently in Arch that ADB was not in the repository, but if you install Android tools, that includes ADB. So if you're on an Arch-based distribution where ADB is not in the repository, um, instead install Android tools. So this is a fresh install of Linux Mint. So let's go ahead and install um, these on Linux Mint. Uh, Okay, ADB 
a CRC UI and send it to you. Okay, those are installed, so now our script should run. So let's go back over here, I'll just minimize this. Double click on that, click run. It will prompt me to plug in my USB device. Oh, also on this, make sure that your US, your, your phone or tablet is not in sleep mode and is open. Um, I actually have mine on my home screen, so I'll plug it in. Click OK. I've got a pop-up on my phone. It says allow USB debugging. I click always allow from this computer and then I click allow. That was a pop-up on my phone. And then it says disconnect the USB cable from the phone now. Click OK to continue. Try, you know, I probably didn't click allow fast enough. So connect to the computer for USB. Let's do that again. Disconnect the cable now. And there's my phone. So the first time I, I received an error because I didn't, uh, wasn't fast enough at, at hitting allow, I was talking. Um, and that may happen if you don't uh, get to your phone fast enough. But again, be sure when, when that pop up pops up on your phone, you have to allow the connection to the computer. So now we can close this and I will no longer have to plug my phone in. It'll just pop up. Um, and with version 1.4.1 of the script code, um, I can actually boot into Arch or another version of Linux Mint I have or Neon or LMDE or any other system I have on my phone. Fedora. I've tried it with Fedora. It works with Fedora. I can boot into any of those systems. Um, and in each system, you'll, you will have to plug it in the first time via USB to the computer to make that initial connection. Um, but after that, um, it's been working pretty well to where I don't have to plug the phone back in with the USB. I can I can reboot this computer into Fedora. I can um, launch that script and it will um, automatically connect and I, I don't need the USB cable anymore. Um, now, as I previously explained in the, in the previous video, you may wanna go back and watch that video, but you can create a uh, a menu item for this script file so you can just launch it from your panel with an icon. Um, if you want to learn how to do that, uh, take a look at the other video. Um, so I just wanted to post this video to give an update and to let everybody know about version 1.4.1. It is working better um, and hopefully uh, you enjoy it. Um, please hit the like button and have a great day.